Hey guys, we're watching the Albums Out. Did you come here to listen to me talk about juvenile topics and tell bad puns? Well, you're in luck. <laughs> what? You didn't? Aw, that really pisses me off. You all read the title. You know what this video is going to be about. Peeing yourself. James is running out of ideas! In my adult <laughs> life, I've had so many close calls with not making it to the toilet. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't pooped my pants more often. One time when I was in college, I was walking home from campus, and I sort of had that I'm feeling that I needed now. to go. I thought I could make it back to my dorm, but then when I was walking back, I, I just couldn't hold it. So I started just booking <laughs> it back home. Apparently, running makes it so you poop faster, though. But I burst through the front door, and I just went straight for the bathrooms, and it was close. Very, very close, but I made it. If the front door was locked, I don't know what I would have done. Another time I had a close call, I was playing Pokemon Go. It was pretty similar to the first story. Pikachu? More like piss a Never mind. I don't have a clean record. There's been times when I was a kid and I soiled my britches. Before I tell you stories about my childhood, I just wanted to say that according to my mom, I was potty trained very easily. Now, I have no memory of this, but apparently every time me and my twin sister went to the bathroom in the toilet, we got M&Ms. And my twin sister, bless her soul, was having some trouble learning how to do it. So instead, I just shared my M&Ms with her and everyone was happy. Except it's been 20 years and she's still not potty trained. I'm still giving her M&Ms to this day. I've had a couple of accidents happen when I was in elementary school. But only like two times though. I promise. The first time I peed my pants in class, I was in the first grade. My first grade teacher was just a humongous bitch. Just a humongous person. Literally, she was pregnant. For the first nine months of my first grade career, I had to deal with this pregnant person, and even as a little tiny six-year-old, I hated her. Now I'll give her the benefit of the doubt and say that we are probably ornery little six-year-olds, but I wouldn't expect six-year-olds to be well-behaved. So why would you get a pregnant person who feels sick all the time to be our teacher? Was it because she couldn't afford maternity leave? One day she threw up in a trash can right in front of us, and we all just sat there not really doing or saying anything. I made a video about this a long time ago, but one time my twin sister got injured on a trampoline and she had to be in a wheelchair for a couple of months. That happened while we were in first grade so one time when we were in class there was a fire drill and the teacher told my sister that she had to get out of the wheelchair now she could get out of the chair her legs worked just fine it was her back that was injured but i mean what if she was actually bound to that wheelchair do we not have an escape route for the disabled leave the chair behind it'll only slow you down what you need that chair to move around well it's gonna have to burn but it gets worse to get out of the school we had to go up these stairs and i was helping my sister walk up them you know because the doctor told her she shouldn't be walking at all and my teacher saw this she knew my sister was in a wheelchair two minutes ago and she said don't help her you know how when you're a little kid and you think that adults know everything and they're always telling you to do the right thing that should have been my first clue that nope what a female dog not just that a pregnant female dog so one day i asked the teacher if i could go to the bathroom and can you guess what she said she said no i forget the exact circumstances but you shouldn't ever tell a six-year-old that they can't go to the bathroom because guess what? They can, and they will. That hand raise, that's not really asking for permission. That's giving you a warning. I raised my hand a second time. Uh, do you remember when you told me I couldn't go to the bathroom? Well, we have a bigger problem now. Ugh, I wish I knew curse words back then. Do you know that kid that was inside my teacher's belly could be watching this right now and have no idea how stupid their mom is? This is why I'm never getting pregnant. The second time I peed myself, I forgot what grade I was in. Hopefully I was still in first grade. It definitely wasn't... 12th grade but this time it was at recess and i didn't know that you could go to the bathroom at recess i thought the school was locked up so i had to really go to the bathroom and i did and all my classmates thought i peed myself and i told them 
no, I was drinking water and the water rolled down my face and all congregated in my groin region. Which, if I was going to lie, I should have just said that I spilled water on my pants. No one believed me except for one person. My twin sister. I knew saving her in that fire drill was a good move. But yeah, everyone else was right. I did maturate myself. Oh, there is two. A winner. Guys. Let's talk. I'm going to tell you something I thought I would take to my grave. So if we ever meet each other in real life, you're not allowed to make fun of me for this. I, James, was a bedwetter until I was eight years old. <laughs> I was good going to the toilet when I was conscious. But being unconscious, I, I was uncontrolled. If we're counting the total times in my life that I've had an accident, then there's too many to count. There were many days when I'd wake up to wet bed sheets, then I'd have to change my sleeping position and try and get some more sleep. The worst part about wetting the bed is that you have no control over it. You were gambling every time you went to sleep. There were some things I would try to help me not wet myself. One thing were these things called good nights. They were pretty much diapers with a bigger kid on the package. Your life hits a low point when you have to wear diapers for a second time. I would hate putting these things on because they're totally stupid and I'm eight years old. I don't need diapers. I literally never slept with them on once. I would take them off every night before I would go to bed. I hated those things. I'd rather pee my pants than wear a diaper. So since I didn't like those, I tried this alarm thing, which I also hated. You put a clamp on your underpants, and you put this thing called an alarm unit right next to your face, and you'd sleep with this contraption of uncomfortableness on you, and if you started to pee, that would trigger the alarm, which would blast a loud noise in your face, and that was supposed to wake you up like, Hey, you're peeing! Problem was, that every time the alarm went off, I was too tired to remember what was going on, so I would just think, What the heck? I need to get this loud noise away from me. And I would just rip off the alarm and throw it away and go back to sleep without realizing what I was doing. Sort of like what I do now with the real alarm. Then I go back to bed, wake up in the morning, and realize, oh, that's why the alarm went off. Then later, I got some pills from some doctor. I don't remember what was in them, but every time I had a pill, I wouldn't wet the bed. But then one day, I ran out of pills. I still went to bed, though, and I woke up with clean sheets. And I never wet the bed again after that. I grew out of it. So if any of you watching right now are bedwetters, there's a pill for that. Drugs. Solves all your problems, baby. I know this video has a weird subject matter, but let's be realistic. It's a part of life. Everyone poops or pees their pants at some point. And if you haven't, well, that just means you have something to look forward to.